Jade Sumter. I'm the principal of the John Jay Science and Engineering Academy. This is my 17th year with the Academy, first as a teacher, as an administrator, my fourth year as principal, my 20th year in education overall. Uh, the Science and Engineering Academy is uh, about 700 students, about 25% of the John Jay campus. We're an application high school. We take from everywhere in Northside uh, ISD. A lot of people would be surprised to learn that we're a Title I school. Uh, not only all of John Jay, but uh, standing alone, the Science and Engineering Academy would be a Title I school as well. Go public. The primary reason that we established the Science and Engineering Academy was really there was a, definitely a need um, for more scientists and engineers, um, technicians, mathematicians to, to join the workforce, to pursue majors in those areas. I think our biggest success so far has really been our school-wide science and engineering fair. We have uh, approximately 600 student projects every year. We've been very excited to, to have St. Mary's University and the University of the Incarnate Word both give a, a total of over half a million dollars in scholarships every year at our school science and engineering fair. Um, uh, of course, that's led to uh, several patents. It's led to uh, several publications, uh, both in multi-volume works and uh, in peer-reviewed scientific journals. Uh, many of our students have gone on to uh, pursue uh, careers in research, uh, careers as engineers. Uh, certainly, uh, the majority of our students do pursue some kind of a STEM major. So, the uh, the Science and Engineering Fair is probably our biggest thing. And there are several other things that we do, but if I had to point to one, that would be our biggest success. There are a lot of things that separate us from a traditional public school, but if I had to, to narrow it down to three big categories, I would say our focus on academic research. Uh, all of our students must do an, an independent or team uh, academic research project every year. They could be a part of our robotics program, uh, competing in SA Best and US First robotics competitions. And we're also very proud to be a, an affiliate with the ACE Mentor Program. And the second thing is we definitely have a college going culture. 100% uh, of our students are accepted into college every year and we have about a 97 to 98% matriculation rate. Um, our students are accepted all over the country. Uh, we have a lot that, that go here in, at home in San Antonio. The fact that we have, uh, for instance, last year we had over $9.2 million in scholarships for our graduating class of 176 uh, students. Most of our students received some kind of scholarship last year, uh, so we're very proud of that. And many received full rides based on their academic performance. The third component that uh, differentiates us from a traditional public school is our, our focus on extracurricular activities. And certainly all schools have extracurricular activities, but we really try to, to ramp that up with field trips, uh, with internship opportunities, with summer programs, um, helping students to, to really navigate the application process for those things, devoting the resources and the personnel to take students on, on field trips to local universities, to labs, uh, to water treatment plants, um, it's, it's really all of that makes a tremendous difference. Those are the three things that separate us most um, from a traditional high school. Very excited that students can come to our school and, and get a real sense of what it's like to work in a STEM field. And for some students, that really can save them time and money if they decide that STEM is not an area for them. But for most of our students, it reinforces that STEM is right for them and it helps them to define the specific area of STEM that they become passionate about. They found a place they could fit in at the Science and Engineering Academy. They pretty much overwhelmingly say that they're well prepared for college that they understand the demands of college, and they know how to navigate them, they're, they're able to write a research paper, they're able to present their research in front of class, that um, they feel much better prepared than, than most of their peers in, in college because of their experiences in, in science fair. 
because of their taking rigorous courses, uh, AP courses and dual credit courses. Most parents recognize the tremendous advantage that students have by coming to the Science and Engineering Academy, that the coursework is preparing them for university level work, that they're able to get uh, college credits through either dual credit or AP classes. Uh, in fact, uh, we had uh, one young man not long ago start college with 76 college hours because of his AP work uh, and his success on AP tests. This is a tremendous advantage. Uh, parents recognize that uh, pretty quickly, that their students are being challenged, uh, but they're also being supported. Uh, and that, that's a powerful combination. Certainly some of the biggest relationships that we've had is with St. Mary's University and the University of Incarnate Word um, with, their, with the scholarships that they offer at our school fair. I think what people need to know most about the Science and Engineering Academy is that we're really just beginning. Although we've been on this journey for 17 years, I feel like we are just hitting our stride that we're, we're at the beginning of this journey towards excellence. Uh, our students who have, our recent graduates uh, are just beginning to make an impact on the larger world. Um, and, and I see that as we have more and more graduates in STEM fields making a difference in the larger world, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna continue to, to multiply and leverage those efforts. We still need your help. Uh, we're always looking to, to grow and to expand. We're, we're always looking for, for more people who can give of their time. Uh, and we'd love to establish more professional relationships um, in the broader community, um, in, in higher education, in uh, a variety of businesses, in, in engineering firms, uh, uh, architecture firms. Um, always looking for opportunities to, to reach out and to establish relationships that, for the benefit of not only our students, but for our society as a whole. Every year since 2006, except for one year, we've had at least two projects go to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. Um, every year since its inception, we've had students compete at uh, iSweep International Science Competition. We have students who travel all over the country and even the world presenting their scientific research. We've had students uh, present their research in Asia, Africa, Europe, and, and of course North America. We've had several students who've been second or third authors in peer-reviewed scientific journal articles. Uh, we're very proud of that. I can expect that to continue. We've had a number of provisional patents that have already been uh, awarded to students because of their work in high school on scientific projects and hope to have several more in the coming years. We're always excited to have students visit. Uh, students come back to visit all the time uh, throughout the year and uh, we have a lot of successful students and, and they've moved on uh, even, they've moved on beyond San Antonio but when they're in town they come back to visit and of course we have a lot of students who, who live here in San Antonio area and contribute in some way whether it's judging at the science and engineering fair or working with our robotics team uh, so we're very fortunate and excited when our students come back to visit. Uh, it gives us a real sense of uh, a family and accomplishment. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, celebrate STEM week, of course, here at the Science and Engineering Academy. Every week, STEM week. Um, it's, a, um, it's a STEM lifestyle, if you will. We don't just uh, celebrate STEM, we live it every day.